So just to share with you, whenever possible, I'm going to make my videos short and sweet to the point. This way, if you need to search through the different videos, you can see what the video is about based on the title. So this is basically, this is called basic WordPress setup. So here's what I suggest you do based on my experience. The first thing we're going to do is go under settings. These are all my choices on the left. Again, I'm in the admin section of my WordPress installation. This is the admin. This is what the public would see. Now, part of the reason you're seeing this bar up here is because we're logged in as an admin or a user or a subscriber based on the permissions that you have. Let me share with you a little technique here. If I wanted to see what the viewer is actually seeing, I'm going to take my URL and copy that to my clipboard, Command C, Macintosh, Control C, Windows. Now I'm going to go, I'm in Chrome. You can do this in Chrome, Firefox, uh, Safari. In Firefox, it's known as incognito. In, I'm sorry, in, in Chrome, it's known as incognito. In Firefox, it's known as a private site. So based on these choices, I'm going to make myself a new private window. What that's going to do, that's going to give me the experience of what the site would look like to a typical user. Notice the bar is no longer here. This is exactly what the user would see. So what I'm sharing with you is a little production technique. Rather than log in and log out, you can just go to a private window and it will basically show you what the site looks like to an average user. All right, so based on these choices here, we're going to go down to the bottom left and we're going to go to general settings. Now, general settings implies exactly what it is. It tells you your basic setup, your URL. If this was a secure site, it would be HTTPS, et cetera, et cetera. It's saying, can anybody register for the site? So I'm not going to select that and that's not selected by default. The other thing I'm going to do is put it in a tagline. Now, here's something I want to share with you. When building a WordPress site, WordPress is a very SEO search engine optimization friendly environment, which means it gives you all the tools needed to get you highly listed on Google searching or web searching in general, but Google is the only game in town. In fact, let me share with you something. Of course, most people know that Google is the number one search engine. Do you know what the number two search engine is? Anybody? Bueller? 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 As a reference to Ferris Bueller, of course. The number two search engine is YouTube. Everything else is not even a close second or third or fourth. Number two is YouTube. The, the, the next one down is who knows and who cares. All right, so what I would put here is a tagline that's gonna get into search engine. So let's do something like online WordPress training from your dashboard. And if I didn't spell that correctly, I'll take a look at it because I'm a one finger typist. So that is basically the tagline that can come up if in fact you're using a tagline in your WordPress presentation. So everything else that's under general, you could set up your format, your time zone, et cetera, et cetera. We're not gonna go into great detail with this, but that's under general and I'm gonna hit save changes. Now, the next part is really important. We're gonna go under discussion. Now, this is how I choose to use a WordPress site. Some people like to use a WordPress site as a blog, and originally it was meant as a blog, but WordPress sites as of 2015 are totally not your parent's blog. It's not the same. It's a full-blown web experience, including bells and whistles and e-commerce and subscriptions and all that stuff. So to prevent people from spamming or leaning erroneous messages on my WordPress installation, I'm not gonna allow people to post comments in new articles. I'm going to say comments author must fill name and email users must be registered automatically delete something after one day again these are just protections to present to protect you against spamming i'm going to select comments must be approved and this is under settings discussion you can see that because it's highlighted right here I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and I'm going to pick an avatar. I like to pick Gravatar logo, which means if the person has a Gravatar account, which is free, their picture will show up. It makes the experience a little nicer. I'm going to save the changes. So, so far we talked about general settings, which is pretty straightforward, and discussion. And under discussion, I ticked off these options. Now, if you're enjoying my video presentation inside my Ultimatum plugin dashboard, or I should say my WordPress training videos inside the dashboard, of course, you can take notes on any video that you're watching right inside the video, which is a real plus. You don't have to get a piece of paper out. Now, here's the next step, which is really important when it comes to search engine optimization. We're going to go down here to permalinks. And based on these choices, by default, you have this horrible web address. This is not SEO friendly. 
This is basically querying the question mark stands for querying, and it's going to identify that particular post or page or whatever you're doing. Now, everything else here is totally up to you how you want to present this. If you're posting a lot, you may want to choose to present a day and name. And that's the option I'm going to pick. You could do month and name as well. So I'm going to pick date and name. It's totally your personal preference, but I would pick something other than my default because that is not search engine friendly. I come down here and I save changes. Now, here's another thing you want to pay attention to. When working with WordPress, we're not going to go into great detail on this in this video series, but whenever given the chance to fill in information, anytime you have a dialogue box, here's basic information here. This is going to tell you and help you for search engine results. The more information you can put into your WordPress back end, the more likely you'll be found in a search engine. So don't be lazy about this. Take your time to fill in the correct information. I'm going to save changes. Good. The next thing we're going to do is set up a category. And since videos are running a little bit long, we're going to do this in our next video. And I will call this setting up categories. So stay tuned.